In terms of the scheme, science and football, how do you see it moving forward over the next few years um, with regard to expansion or graduate schemes or, or the future? I think anybody in, in the industry would, uh, would welcome this. I think the, the conference today uh, has been excellent. I've just um, obviously done one presentation, sat in on two, and I think the quality of the delivery uh, has been diverse. I think it's been, the quality has been very good, but meeting the needs of a diverse, diverse people. Uh, some really good questions towards the end. So uh, I think anything like this that helps practitioners who are working uh, or who have worked in football and, and help people who are maybe just starting on the pathway. I think it, I think it helps. Would you say it's a good basis for, for the beginning of something that seems to be going on in a lot of other countries uh, yeah. that we, we seem to be fairly behind? Well, the thing that's come out for me today with all the presenters is qualifications are important but experiential learning is what you really need uh, and I think if Somebody can maybe take two or three ideas about how you get that, um, and that you know because you've got a level two or a level three or a level this or a level whatever, it doesn't mean that automatically employers are going to invite you in and, um, and and give you work. I think what employers are looking for is qualifications as a minimum, but also people who have been at the coal face, people who um, are able to bring with them examples of examples of work so um, I think any advice that young people get today from that I think is invaluable. Um, would you say it's just the young people who are learning things today or? Uh, well I would say the average age of the audience is, uh, is probably under 30 um, and speaking to John I suppose that's what I've pitched at really is is to try and help people get this tacit learning, help people um, appreciate that you know, if you want to earn the right to work at a top club, it's highly unlikely that you're going to go in there as your first base. You know, the, the, the chances are you're going to have to, unless you've, you're extremely lucky or maybe unless you're a, a, a top international player who can get straight into the top, the, the likelihood is that you know, you, you're going to have to be working maybe at grassroots, working overseas, working um, throughout the whole of the divisions, doing different jobs. Um, and you know, don't see that as a hardship. Get on with it and, and welcome the experiences. And you know, if you're lucky and you get an opportunity, and if you're talented, maybe, maybe you'll get the opportunity.